are in Germany, in Berlin specifically. I am grateful for every day. I'm here, living my best life. Couldn't be better. I like to download my brain into my book. It's like I'm kind of writing music without any idea of how to write music. I'm a nursing major right now, and honestly, this trip has made me realize I love art a lot more than I thought. Becoming an art major was was never like the primary choice. It's sort of the culmination of a bunch of decisions. All my artwork is usually inspired by real events. And even like planar painting, which is something I've done a lot on this trip, I feel like nature, I especially have emotional responses to. Art to me is about showing what I'm thinking and feeling visually in a way that you can't do with words or anything else. understand anything. We were trying desperately to understand what was going on and it was interesting because we were making up random things and explaining it to each other. But it's hard because it removes a lot and that's why I've gone to still photographs even though I would prefer to just draw people in real life. I draw more when I'm feeling depressed or sad. I'm like I don't have depression or anything but we all feel sad, and it helped me realize what I can use art for in my life. It's very overwhelming, and you don't really know what to look at or think of or what I meant when I was right, um, drawing any of it. To me, it's not about what it looks like, it's about what it feels like to make. I used to really care what other people thought, and I would work really hard to draw how other people would be impressed. I don't really care if people like it or not, and I don't feel this competition at all because it's just what's in my head. And it's like competing with, is, can someone compete with my thoughts? No. So it's just like, hmm, hmm, whatever. <laughs> and I love when there's like a circle behind someone's head because it brings the attention to what I find most important, which is like, what are they feeling? What's their emotions? What's their face telling us? And it can be a symbol of, oh, they're like an amazing, beautiful person. But it can also be a symbol of, maybe they're not an amazing, beautiful person, but I'm emphasizing that they can be, you know? I think everyone deserves a halo. I'm trying to do some thumbnails for my next watercolor piece for the Holocaust Memorial. And I had this idea to do like, cause I felt like when I was there and I was walking through these like big concrete blocks, it was really interesting cause they were almost really soundproof. And as we were walking, like there's these little gaps in between each concrete block and you can see other people walking alongside you. But then there's sort of these breaks where the block gets in the way and then you see them again and the block gets in the way. Sort of feeling like all the murdered Jews were walking like around you and with you because you couldn't see the other person but you knew they were walking next to you. When I was wandering through those concrete pillars by myself, it was very emotional. Sometimes with things like this, it's good to draw from reality even if it's uncomfortable, like the Holocaust is a very uncomfortable reality. But I think those stories are also really important to tell. 
This piece is supposed to show what we take away from going to a memorial like that. I'm sort of playing with like the silhouettes and positive and negative space. So I want the figures that are empty and have nothing inside them to represent the Jews that were murdered. And then I want the people that are colored in to represent people who visit the memorial and take something away with them. And then I'll transfer the thumbnail onto here and mess around with it a little bit, polish it, go over it with watercolor, mm -hmm. and it will look good. I'm going to take this tool I've never used before, or this technique I've never used before, and try to make something with it. It's hard, but it's a lot of fun in the end. Each city has a pretty different soundscape, and so I started with that idea of trying to record audio that's unique to the individual cities that we're going to be in. Like in Prague, some of the more unique sounds were like the cars on the street. Um, there's also a lot of large open spaces or large enclosed spaces like the cathedrals went and recorded inside there. And, you know, similar situation for here in Berlin, you know, trains, road noise, open spaces. And then after getting the recordings, trying to edit that into some way that showcases the unique sounds, but not in a way that's entirely recognizable. It's more like an auditory collage, you know, taking the different parts and pasting them together, seeing what works and what doesn't. If I'm going to be making art, I want to be having fun while doing it, and I want somebody else to be able to have fun with the, whatever I produce. But being out and traveling has really been forcing me to change my mindset to more about what I can do with what I have on hand. Something interesting about Berlin is that it's a really really active city. More touristy cities like Prague, it's, there's ebbs and flows of, you know, the weekend crowd and it sort of dies down throughout the week and things get quieter. But in Berlin, it's constant, you know, there's constant noise, constant activity. When I go to Capture Sound, I'll either have my field, field recorder on hand or I'll have my phone. Uh, I really try to be discreet, hiding wires and just keeping things in my pockets. You know, there's, there's so much going on and, you know, you, you never know quite how things are going to turn out while you're down there. Because you get an interesting conversation here, however many different languages are going on, and then you've got the layer, layer that on top of all the train noises going on down there, and it gets, it gets really fun. I feel like being on a study abroad has really just broadened my perspective and my worldview, and I'm hoping that, that will transfer to my art, and I'll be able to make pieces that reflect that diversity, and also the perspective of other people. Message I'm trying to share as an artist, and I was like, this sucks, <laughs> because this receipt doesn't have my message in it. And like, kind of the frustration of realizing that I can't go with a specific idea of mine, but that we sometimes get stuck in the, but what's the meaning of it? Because if it doesn't have a meaning, like it's just a bunch of trash and food 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 food